unfolded, as you can see here, the two solar array wings, in addition to the three ring set of wings that were already there, give the station a wingspan of 240 feet. And with this last segment of trust added, the station's trust structure now spans 310 feet. Altogether, the four sets of solar array wings give the station enough power to run about 42 homes here on the Earth, which helps the station gear up for the addition of three full-time crew members later this year. Currently, there are just three people who live on the International Space Station full-time. However, later this year, that will expand to a full-time crew of six. All that power is needed to not only power the systems that allow, allow people to live on the International Space Station, such as the water and oxygen generating equipment. It also provides a great deal of power for the scientific equipment that is used for the science performed on the International Space Station. In fact, that's the main purpose of these final two solar array wings. They should generate 21 to 30 kilowatts of usable power, depending on the time of year and the angle of the sun. And 15 of those will go towards powering scientific experiments. That's doubling the amount of power that's designated for science. Until now, the station's only been able to use 15 of the 63 to 90 kilowatts that the other six solar array wings have produced just running all the equipment that it takes to sustain life on the station uses up the other 48 to 75. The Essex, the Essex truss segment was installed on the fifth day of the International uh, Space Shuttle Discovery's mission by mission specialist Steve Swanson and Ricky Arnold during the mission's first spacewalk.